Hello, welcome to LearnToDance.com. My name is Anderson Moore. This is my partner, Eva Allen. And in this lesson, we're going to teach you the difference between what we call reverse actions in the waltz and natural actions in the waltz. For starts, reverse actions begin uh, with the forward action with the man's left and the forward action with the lady's left. Essentially, the waltz steps are the same for the man as well as for the lady. The difference is simply that when I'm going forward with my left, she's going backward with her right. And when she's going forward with her left, I'm going backwards with my right. This is using a reverse or left turning configuration. Let me just show you what I mean. If we're dancing a waltz and we're rotating to the left, my left foot goes forward and my right foot goes backwards. My left foot goes forward and my right foot goes backwards. Again, my left foot is forward and my right foot is backwards. This is for a, re a reverse turn or a left turning figure. Now, that's all fine and good, but only turning in one direction means you're very limited. You're not going to progress around the room in the natural way that Waltz is designed to do because it's based on rotation. A natural turning figure means everything is upside down. My forward steps will always be with the right foot. And the, the lady's forward steps will always be with the right foot. Let me just show you. So now a natural turning figure would be one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Hopefully you could notice the difference between rotating to the right and rotating to the left. Now in application, you have to have one more variation, which we have another lesson on uh, our channel here is called a progressive step or a change step. And it's simply to change directions. But your number one goal has got to be to now reverse that waltz box step. If you've only learned the reverse turning figure, you've probably locked down in your mind that the left foot always goes forward and the right foot always goes backwards. And you would be correct if you qualified that by saying that's a reverse turning figure. Watch what I'm going to do. We're going to dance one left box, one, two, three, four, five, six, a change, one, two, three, then one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, a change, and then a left, one, two, three, back with the right, five, six, a change, forward with the right, two, three, four, five, six. This allows us to eventually progress around the room using left turns and right turns. Waltz isn't designed to go straight. It's not a linear style dance. That's more the foxtrot. The waltz is based on rotation. So a good waltz is always turning in left and right directions, never just staying in the same alignment the whole time. So the first thing you're going to have to do is add to your program that you can do the box step with this other configuration. Just try it with us. Let's uh, put your partner beside you. And again, like I said, the steps are the same. Let's use our right foot to go forward. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Right foot one, two, left foot backwards, four, five. Again, right foot one, left foot two, three, left foot back, side together. Now I know I've seen it a million times. You probably went one, two, three, one because you're used to the right foot always being the backward action. You've said that to yourself and memorized that a uh, hundred million times. And that's okay if you only want to turn to the left. But we all want to do and look and feel as comfortable when we're dancing, which means we need to bring in the turns to the right. So the first thing you have to do is practice that box step with the right foot forward and the left foot backwards. The concept of the box step is exactly the same. Now the other little pitfall or another issue that's important when we apply this with partner is whoever has the forward action with the right leg mustn't try to avoid the partner. If I show you from this point of view, when I step with my right foot into Eva, I'm going one. My right knee and her right knee have passed right beside each other. I'm not going to go one because I know I'm going to step on her. 
Well, I'm going to step on her if I let that right-footed step drift off to the side because that's putting my right-footed step onto the lady's track. If we imagine that the lady is standing on two tracks and the man is standing on two tracks and they're running parallel to each other, they're not lined up directly with each other, then we will never step on each other. Just notice that as we turn to the right. We go one, two, notice her step is forward. Notice my step is forward. Notice her step is forward. There is no, I'm not going to avoid Eva. Eva is not going to avoid me. We're going to brush right past each other. Now when we turn to the left, this is not so much of an issue because of the way we're configured, we're offset, so the left-footed step is already outside her. So the man never feels like he's going to step on his partner there. So a way you can, you can overcome this, gentlemen, is to take your lady into dance hold and let's walk with her. But let's go ahead and begin with the left foot for the man. I'll go forward. The right foot, I'm going to go forward as well. And I'm just walking with her. Every time I go forward, hopefully you'll notice if I stop here and I'll come right at you, you'll notice with my left foot, notice my right foot there. My right foot has gone right past the lady's foot. And if she comes forward now, notice with her right foot there, and again right there. She's not going to try to avoid me the same way I'm not going to try to avoid the lady. This is going to make it very easy for us to dance together, but again, this is going to be one of the, the problem areas as you try to incorporate natural turns or right turns. So remember, reverse turns go to the left, natural turns go to the right. Another way of saying it is left turns or reverse turns go counterclockwise, right turns, natural turns go clockwise. The more you can get yourself to where you're dancing, lefts and rights in the waltz, you'll find it way more enjoyable, I guarantee you. Thanks again for visiting LearnToDance.com, and we sure hope you're enjoying your dancing.